from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA Late with huge news about a market with the Dow up about 300 points right now, NASDAQ up sharply, and major corporate earnings coming on in. American Express reported minutes ago. Do you think American Express was a beat or a miss? Jump on the live chat. American Express, comma, beat or miss, comma, your state. And I'll go over the answer with you in just a second. Big details hitting left and right. We have supply chain disruption companies, shippers, reporting earnings, and you're going to be surprised with the news of them. Does it indicate that inflation is going down or up? I'll have delays on that as well. Major series of news reports coming in in the last hour. I have nearly 15 pages of notes to deliver you this morning. Stocks may have not reached a bottom, says so UBS is ahead. I have his comments minutes ago. Adam Crisofoli says um, it's looking quite gloomy for stocks. But could a bear market rally with a Santa Claus rally be on the way on all details across the board? Ten-year note up, two-year note up, and 30-year note up. This all very confusing, but I'll explain to you in today's recording, and this is why you want to get a horse to most check in every U.S. state. In today's recording, we go over the monster horse to most checks. FSC, federal stimulus checks from the Congress for the President of the United States. $300,000 up of 300 different checks. I'll show you how to get them. They're coming up in the big second half. Then inflation relief stimulus checks. ISCs, huge checks. I'll explain to you how to get these automatic direct deposit checks in the big second half as well. Lifetime stimulus. You already know your benefits are going up. 8.7, you know that, but did someone tell you that it's going to be two more lifts after that? Did someone else also tell you that's on top of them another lift? No, they did not. I'll explain to you that. Oh, that incredible great news if you're on benefits in the big second half. Plus, we have the latest details on Verizon and also recession. Elon Musk repeating my predictions from the shelf over a year. I'll have his comments minutes ago. Plus, we'll have the housing market and where it's going. It's just, just a few days away from Halloween. We have two uh, cast of characters in behind me, Dia de los Muertos, which is a uh, day of the dead, a day of the markets, a day of the recession. Mm -hmm. No, we're going to have a better market. We're going to have a bear market rally, the Santa Claus rally. What does that mean? I'll explain all that and more as a big show gets underway. It's Mornings LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California, starting right now. And good morning, everyone. Hope you have a beautiful day. It is gorgeous here along the coast for a gorgeous week of October as we approach Halloween. Big week underway. The market was up sharply on Monday and Tuesday, but will it hold itself for the end of the week? Will it end this week with a bang? All the latest details across the board. It's a big show with a lot of money. What are we going to cover? Your stimulus checks, your lifetime stimulus, and more. All the breaking news starts right here, right now, live on air. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? The toast is toasted. The butter is butter. And the coffee is brewing. And we have a lot of major breaking news. And it all starts right here, right now. For October 21, 2022, Adam Crisofoli of Virtual Knowledge says the mindset's quite gloomy with stocks for sale pretty much everywhere. The negativity in earnings is a slew of disappointments around the world, says this comment minutes ago obtained by Allied News. Meantime, Jamie Cox says it's basically a knee-jerk knee environment. He's from Harris Financial. You start the day, stocks 600 points down. Next day, 900 points up. Very knee-jerk reaction. And it's sort of like what happens when you walk in and see someone's wearing a lobster shorts at work. And it's not Halloween yet. <laughs> it's very knee-jerk. Yeah, keep the lobster shorts below the knee, please. Uh, UBS is hey, Phil, says stocks are really not bottom yet. No, we have really not bottom. History the, tells us the market is not bottom until they see the Federal Reserve cuts or the, the activity on the horizon. Basically, when you see the Federal Reserve is done doing what they're going to do, interest rate spikes to battle inflation. When you see that's done, then we're at the bottom of the market. <laughs> 
Federal Reserve has said, we're not done doing this until 2024. So we have a long way down to find the bottom of the market. Now, along the way, we will have some pops. And I've been predicting for the last few days that we're going to have a Santa Claus rally in this bear market. Bear market is down. Santa Claus rally. Every December, the markets have a Santa Claus rally. I know rally sounds like you're driving the car through dooms of the desert. Uh, the, the, you know, the <laughs> a rally, a race car rally. But Santa Claus does ra not rally the, the sleigh. He, he flies the sleigh. And yet, this is Wall Street. Always getting things wrong. <laughs> Santa Claus rally means that stocks rally up around the time that Santa Claus comes. And then by January, they go back down. We've not had a Santa Claus rally in a bear market for many, many years because we haven't had the two things at the same time. Ten-year Treasury note up 4.272. Two-year note up to 4.63. And 30-year note up to 4.266. Last few weeks, I've been giving you predictions that the 30-year fixed mortgage to buy a home would go close to 7%. It was 3% earlier this year, then went to 6 It's nearly at 7% right now. I'll have the latest details on that on evenings tonight. The two-year Treasury note, I have been predicting that that would go to a 5% by December. It was just 3% just a few weeks ago. It is right now 4.6%, almost 4.7. It was 4.4 on Tuesday. So we could see my prediction on this one come true by early next week, not by December. It's that happening that quickly. And finally, the yield curve inversion. What is that? You put money in the bank and you say to the banker, I want to put some money away. How long do you want to put the money away? Uh, two years. 10 years, what are my choices? Well, 10 years, if you put the money away for 10 years, you get more money than two years is shorter. That's normally what they would say, but not in a recession. A two-year bond is paying more than a 10-year bond makes no sense. That's called year curve inversion, two and 10-year bonds, and that's indicative of a recession. Confusing market, yes. Reason you need to get stimulus, absolutely. And we have massive stimulus for you. FSCs, federal stimulus checks, massive checks, passed by the President of the United States starting in the month of March. Checks A, B, and C, $100,000. With a market that's changing so quickly and so confusing, you don't want to wait to get this incredible stimulus. $100,000, federal stimulus. The President does it. The Congress does it. They send out the checks. They administer the checks. has nothing to do with your states. It's all incredible. Go get it. Passed it by the President of the United States in the month of March. It's $100,000 of checks A, B, and C. We're going to go over each of these checks one at a time in this recording. So stay with me. I'll explain every check. Then King Congress passed more checks, E through K. FSCs, more checks across the board, bringing us to hundreds of checks. Then I found you L and M, N and O. They're all in the newsletter from me to you as members, P and Q. And those incredible checks now have grown to $300,000 of checks. 300 different checks for you, the Purple Power community. Purple Power community, the viewers of the channel, are cleaning up all these incredible checks. You want to get them. How do you get them? You go onto this video. You become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino, VIAP, and get these incredible checks. What are you watching? You're watching Ally Light, the number three most watched financial news channel in America. We've now three broadcasting channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. This channel, launched in spring of 2020, has gotten viewers $50 million, more than any broadcaster in the American landscape today. And viewers have been getting these checks, and that's why the viewers clean up, because they're so good at what they do, and I've trained you as well. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Go into this video, join, and become a member right today in the big second half. Promise me you'll stay the big second half of this recording. I'll show you each check, how you get each check, where the check lands, how you apply for the check. I'll explain it all for you one at a time. Become a member. Go around this video. Join this channel. Let's go back into the breaking news to understand why it's important to get these incredible checks. So the, the, the recession is indicative of that yield curve inversion. And the start of the recording, I asked you to give, my, give me your predictions on some third quarter corporate earnings that came in today. You've been learning and earning really well on this channel, so let's see if you got these right, and I got some harder ones after this. American Express, did it beat or did it miss in its third quarter earnings today, comma, your state? Right, American Express, comma, beat, comma, miss, comma, your state. Let me think this through with you. So 
The credit card company, sort of like a bank, last week the bank, banks were all beating. We had Wells Fargo beat, Citibank beat, JP Morgan Chase beat. So banks, I would assume American Express is sort of like a bank because it's a credit card. I would assume it beat. Did it beat? If you said it beat, you got it right. Congratulations, you're doing really well. Uh, it beat, and the stock um, uh, uh, was better than expected. But the stock is actually down. Uh, the stock is actually down, even though it was a beat. Verizon. Okay, this is a little bit harder. Verizon is telecommunications like cable and internet and cell phone. Do you think Verizon beat or miss? This is a little bit more complicated because you think about consumer spending items, but then they still have to have their internet. If you said beat on Verizon, you got that right as well. And congratulations on your correct answer on that one. Okay, so Snap, which is a company featured on this channel for since day one of this channel. Oh, this channel will be around next year. I don't know if Snap will. Boy, big problems with Snap. It is down 28% today alone. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you always see the graphic when I talk about earnings recession. And it refers to, this is a graphic I made for second quarter. And this was the graphic for second quarter. There you go. Second quarter, miss, Snap. Third quarter, Snap, missed today as well. Uh, there's questions whether this company is going to survive, folks. It's not looking good across the board. That is a social media company, it's much like a Twitter-type company. Okay, so let's do some fascinating ones. Let's see if you can get these ones right. Let me give you a hotel chain. The parent company of Holiday Inn. This seems so easy. Travel and Leisure, Hotel and Airlines, all beating last week. So I'm going to give you a hotel. Did it beat? You may think it's a setup. It is a setup. <laughs> <laughs> I am setting you up. Intercontinental Hotels, a parent company of Holiday Inns, uh, did it beat? Uh, it did not report. <laughs> it did not report. It wasn't set up. Uh, it's, um, the, its chief financial officer is leaving. So there was actually no earnings report, but the stock is down 4.2%. <laughs> that was a little trickier one there. Whirlpool and Under Armour. Okay, so this is sort of comparable. The dishwasher and then the sporting goods. This is sort of like you're spending. Are you spending money on a dishwasher? You're spending money on sporting goods and tennis shoes. I'm going to say no, you're not because inflation and the items are more expensive and you're not making more enough money to keep up with the cost of living. So I'm going to say miss on Under Armour, Muts, and Whirlpool. What are you saying? Jump in the live chat. Whirlpool, comma, miss or beat, comma, your state. Whirlpool, miss. So you got that right. Under Armour, miss, uh, or, or downgraded um, in today's earnings. Both stocks are down sharply in pre-market trading. So you got that one right as well. Good job, good job. You're doing really well. Okay, so now this one is a big one. Supply chain disruption. The product from the farm to you, the product from the factory to you. They put it on a truck, they put it on a ship, they put it on a train. So supply chain disruptions was causing inflation. Are the people who run the supply chain disruption making more money or less money? This is a really hard question. I, this I credit to Jim Cramer. He came up with these this analysis. Three companies in this genre of reported earnings. Did they beat or do they miss? I would have said they beat, and I would have been wrong because J.B. Hunt miss. Knight Swift miss and Union Pacific Railroads missed. So three of the supply chain disruption companies missing, boy, it's a confusing market. It's a very confusing market, and this is why you have to get that force to most check in every U.S. state. Let's look at those incredible checks, starting with those FSCs right now. Just incredible. 300 different checks, $300,000, just a huge amount of money. Let's look at those great checks right now. The first three checks were passed by the President of the United States. $100,000, checks A, B, and C. Then came along in Congress and passed those checks E through K. Then I found you other checks, and I delivered them all to you as part of the Purple Power community, hundreds of checks a day in that membership newsletter. Let's look at the first three of those checks, A, B, and C, right now. The first three of these FSC checks passed by the president by executive action. Check A, $6,500 to $12,000. This is the first FSC check. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. 
How do you get it? You go into this video, you become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cow, Sino, VIP. Go down the membership news, I see check A. Click the link and go right and apply. Congratulations, Spelly, who got this incredible check A. You're not done there yet. You're going to go then, go get check B. Fifteen to $80,000. It's a great check. You're going to meet Frank Mancuso on Afternoons LA today at 3 o'clock. It's a brand new show. He applied for this channel. He became a member on this channel. To become a member, it's just a few dollars. For just a few dollars, what did Frank Mancuso get from out of this channel in less than 30 days? Thousands and thousands of dollars. Nearly $10,000. It's happening all the time. He got 80. He got eight months of um, of um, Check B. It's just incredible. Another viewer out of Florida got eight months of Check B, but with five checks a month. That's 80 to 100 checks. You want to get this incredible membership and you want to get that incredible check B. You go down the membership, you see check B, click the link and go and apply. You're not done there yet. <laughs> no, you're not. You're going to go get check C, rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. Lynn Glenn, who's in all the live chats, love it to death. She got 14 months of, of uh, utilities. Another viewer, 14 months of utilities. Two viewers uh, got 12 months of utilities. What are you watching? And why are viewers getting so much money on this channel? Because we've been doing this for a while. Since December 2020, I've been getting people massive sums of money, uh, even before of Check C. But before that, I was getting people money when this channel launched on March 2020. $50 million gotten by viewers of this channel. And the viewers of this channel are really learning to earn it. What I always tell people, tell people is go get more money. So you get $400 a day, get another $400 tomorrow, get $2,000 next week. Here's rent. You want some $30,000 of rent? Go get Check C. Do you want this for utilities? <laughs> I bet you do. Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000 for utilities. The same brother-in-law got a quarter million dollars over 10 years for SNAP. Combinations checks, an easy one from $23,000 to $50,000. Mark went from this graphic, $32,000 to then $50,000, then $100,000, then $166,000, because he got checked big. Here's a Lorraine. She was at one hundred five. dollars She went to one fifty-five. dollars now, promise me two things. One, when you go apply for Check C, you go down the membership news and it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Promise me you'll reach out to all 12 places in the membership newsletter. Because you're going to get a no, but you're also going to get a yes. That's 12 places. Promise me second thing is that you say the big second half because I have a lot more checks to go over with you. The continuation is 300 of MSC checks, 300, MS, 300 FSC checks. Then we have inflation release stimulus checks coming up in the big second half. Plus, new details about the raise of your benefits you've never heard before. It's an addition to that 8.7. It's coming up in the big second half as well. But let's go back into what you need to do. Go out into this video, join the channel, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Get the membership newsletter delivered from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down to each check and apply. Click the link and go down and apply. It's that simple. I deliver all the links for you in the membership newsletter. Number two, go to this funnest channel and join the channel and subscribe. So make sure you're subscribed to LA1, LA2, and LA3. And most importantly, hit that little bell underneath the video so they have you all notifications set to all on. In the big second half, we're going to continue with where this stimulus is going. But let's jump into the other breaking news right now so you understand why you need to get that stimulus. So Elon Musk, head of Tesla, minutes ago, confirming my reporting since February of this year. He said that the U.S. economy will have a recession to 2024 spring. That's exactly what I had recorded on this channel since February. I said recession the rest of this year, recession all 2023 next year. And then I said basically the early part of 2024, we come out of it. He said the exact same thing minutes ago. Second, we have some fascinating details on housing that's coming up in the big second half. I'll show you why the housing market is going to be very different in this recession than the prior housing market recession. If you didn't watch yesterday, you're not, you've never heard this before on the channel. It's breaking news. It is really, really fascinating. You need to know this even if you don't own a home. Here's some other corporate earnings reporting minutes ago. Intercontinental, which is the parent company of Holiday Inn, falling 4.2%. Uh, we have Tenant Healthcare, which is a healthcare operator. I would have thought it would have been a beat. It was a miss. 18% down across the board. And meantime, in the big second half, we have some surprises. Plus, did you see my uh, my cast of characters join me? 
<laughs> you see the cast of characters. Dia de los Muertos uh, joining me in the background at two uh, beautiful uh, he heads. Um, you know, Day of the Dead, or as Bob Bacon would say, Economy of the Dead. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, if you go to uh, Mitch's office, uh, it's, a, it's a whole nother level. <laughs> In the big second half, we have masses Timbers coming up for you across the board. Uh, stay with me, and I will go over new details of the stimulus you've never heard before. Plus, we'll go over new details of this housing market, why this recession is looking totally different, and I'll go over more about what you're going to get. It's a big show, and we're just getting started. See you back in 60 seconds as Morning Tell. I continue on air. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And except it continues in the big second half as morning tell like counts down the days to Halloween. Would it freak you out or is it just sort of like walking into uh, the Kentucky Senate office? <laughs> can become a member. Go around this video, become a member. Get all these incredible checks. And this big second half, we're going to continue with these FSC checks. You deserve them. Remember the first three checks, A, B, and C, were passed by the President of the United States. Then came along Congress and they did checks E through K. That's where we're picking up now Purple Power in this big second half with these incredible E through K checks. Check E is absolutely incredible, $7,500, wow. A new report out last weekend says for check E, do it in a year in which you can get the whole check because if you only get part of the check, you can't get up. You can't get the residual, the remainder of the check in another year. Check F, $4,000, wow, that's incredible. Then we have check G, Huge, 30% off, whoa. Check H, $2,000, that's great. It continues these FSC federal stimulus checks with check G, which is just incredible. Um, Excuse me, then we go to I, $8,000, J, $8,000, huge. And then check J K, $14,000, that is insane, absolutely incredible. We continue with the FSCs with check L. $100,000 on average of loan interest free money. M, $4,000 of grant money for you. And one of my favorite stimulus items, a free computer, free tablet, free laptop, $100 towards a participate provider and free internet. I love that. I love it, love it, love it. Then we have stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs for a purchase of brand new home, no credit check and no insurance required at application time. And stimulus P, 3% down for a refi existing home and Q, $8,000 of free money grant for you in closing costs. Just incredible. Let's recap those FSCs because that is a lot of money. First, what's important to understand is that these FSCs are from the federal government, number one, Congress, the President of the United States. Your states do not have anything to do with them. Federal government pays for them. They run the application. They send them out. Number two, largest check, $100,000. Smallest check, $8,000. Fastest routing time, two days. Johnny started on Monday. He got $45,000 by Wednesday. He continued by Friday. Got 15 applications in. 
he got seven approved, 50% approval rate. He got $80,000 in four days. He helped his father and mom the next week. Each got 50000 He helped his friends and neighbors over the next month, about 20 people, $200,000. We got checks of all different magnitudes. We have checks for home repairs, home appliances, cars, the computer, the internet. We got literally something for all different walks of life. Absolutely incredible. Incredible. These are federal stimulus checks. You want to start with these because these are the biggest checks, $300,000 across the board. Now, let me recap something important for you to understand. Check B. Average fee of this channel is getting about five checks a month, mortgage or rent, plus the four utilities, 18, and 18, uh, 18 months of those checks. That's about 80 to 100 checks. Check C, the same thing. The only difference in the case of Check C, they got 12 places to reach out to for 80 checks. That's how we rock and roll on this channel. Remember, you keep on wanting getting checks. You want to keep on getting checks. Got $200 today, get $400 tomorrow. Keep on pushing, keep on applying. And if you've had a success story, post in the live chat. Every dollar makes a difference. We've had success stories all this week as well. Congratulations. Now let's continue now over to those inflation relief stimulus checks. I... SCs. These come from your states. Number one, the checks on average are about $2,000 or $1,000. Number two, the checks are direct deposit otherwise in the mail. The states administer them. The number three, you have to have a tax return generally on file. You Federal tax return, you can go to irs.gov and file it electronically, totally free, very, very simple. And number four, how do you learn about these incredible checks? You go down to the membership newsletter, do you find check D like donut? Click the link, it opens a brand new page. And at check D, it tells you your state, the amount of the check, and gives you a link to the website for your state that administers the check. So you can go right in and learn and track the check itself. It's incredible. And that, my friends, is ISC, Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks. Now let's jump over to lifetime stimulus checks. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. You may have heard on this channel about now two weeks ago that your checks are going, that your benefits is going up 8.7%. You know that, but do you know the other parts of the story? You probably don't, unless you've been watching LLite. You're actually getting more than that. Let's explain. By using an analogy of a skyscraper and its elevator inside. Last year, you were at the first floor. And last year, they raised your benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, they raised your benefits 5.9%. So you went from the first floor to the second floor. Now, they're raising your benefits another 8.7%. You're going now from the second floor to the third floor. Yes, this is on top of the raise from last year. You're not stopping at the second floor. Rather, you're going to go to the third floor and the fourth floor. Why? Because Jay Powell reports that there will be inflation next year, so your benefits will be raised again, and there'll be inflation the year after that, your benefits will be raised again. So to recap, last year, first floor, this year, second floor, next year, third floor, the year after that, fourth floor, and then fifth floor. You, once you get to the fifth floor, you never go down. Once you get to the second floor, you never go down. Once you go to the third floor, you never go down. Once you go up, you never go down because once your benefits are raised, they never go down. Now, by 2024, you'll be at the fifth floor. You have jumped up four, three consecutive years. On the other side, and this is where it's incredible great news that no one explains to you either, inflation is going to drop every year. So you are staying at the fifth floor. I don't, have, I don't have three hands to use, but let me use this hand. Here's what's happening with the price of the goods you're buying. This year, they're at the fifth floor. Next year, they're at the fourth floor. The year after that, they're at the fourth floor. floor. The year after that, they're, they're in the basement. So by year five and every year thereafter, you're going to be here or higher. You're never going to go lower. While everything you're buying is going to get cheaper, 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 yes, your money will be worth a lot more money every year thereafter. That's the incredible great news. So let's recap that because I know it's a lot to digest. Your benefits are going to be raised up next year, but they're also going to be raised up the year after that and the year after that. As that happens, the products you're buying, the milk and the eggs, are going to drop 
year one, drop the next year, drop the year after that because inflation is going to come down. So it's going to cost you less to live, but you're going to have a bigger check permanently. That's the incredible great news and what else explains to you. Also, you may also know that your benefits are no, going to be, no longer going to be eaten up by Medicare Plan B. Congress passed a bill over the summer that prevented Medicare Plan B premiums to be those enormous levels anymore. So that's gone across the board. And there you go. That is your lifetime stimulus. Now, if you are a member, which I hope you are, open that membership newsletter. Go down to the third line to the L8 worksheets, featured a lot on Enews L8 every night at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And one of the pages in the worksheets is about the raise of your benefits. And there you go. Let's recap. Step one, go on in this video and become a member. Join this channel. Then, number two, hit that subscribe button. Number three, hit that alert button, Make sure, that bell. Make sure all your alerts are set all on. And then get that membership newsletter. For the first time on Mornings Out Light, I'm going to feature a new uh, item. I debuted it yesterday on Afternoons, but I think I'll have it on all the shows right now. It's called a Time Zone Check. I know it sounds like a time zone traveler show, doesn't it? <laughs> but let's do it. Time Zone Check. I'm going to ask you right now, Nate, write in the live chat your time zone, come your state. If you don't know the answer, don't worry, because I'm going to train you so that the next time you watch this channel, you know the answer. I'll start. My answer is Pacific Standard Time, or PST, comma, California. All right, let's go over time zone check with you right now. If you live on the East Coast, New York, New Jersey, Atlanta, Florida, you are on the Eastern Standard Time, EST. Write that in the live chat if that's where you live right now. If you are in the Midwest, like Missouri or Illinois, you're in the Central Standard Time, CST. Like CST, comma, Missouri, right there in live chat right now. That's where you live. And then if you live in the mountains, like Arizona, you may be MT, mountain time, comma, your state, right there in live chat. That's where you live right now. And finally, if you live in Los Angeles or the West Coast, Oregon or um, California <laughs> or California. I mean, is there anything else besides California? Yes, there is. I'm being facetious. <laughs> <laughs> Los Angeles, comma, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, there you go. Why is this so important? It's important because you need to know when the membership newsletter comes to you. All right, so let's go over that right now. The membership newsletter is delivered automatically from me to you via YouTube alerts at, here we go, pay attention, Pacific Standard Time, 7 o'clock Eastern Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. What is 7 o'clock my time? 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time is 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time is 9 o'clock Central Standard Time and is 8 o'clock Mountain Time. There you go. That's why you watch the second half. And thank you for participating in a, in a daily dose of what time zone am I in? <laughs> well, let's jump back into the breaking news. The breaking news is also heating up with a fascinating data point that came in yesterday, folks, on that housing market. You ain't going to see this anywhere. No one has explained this to anyone except me. In fact, I didn't even understand it at, at all until I did the research. Now, remember, when I come on camera, I deliver to you, you know, tens of pages of research every day. And sometimes when I see the research, I'm just sort of shocked myself. This is data. And then I deliver the analysis if I, if I can. And when I saw this data, I thought the analysis was wrong, but it wasn't. Let me explain to you what we have for this situation on the housing right today. It's fascinating, and it's something we've never thought we would ever have across the board. Jump on the live chat because I need you to help me on this one as well. In the last recession, this is what happened with housing. People went to sell the house, couldn't sell. One person went to sell the house, couldn't sell the house. The house sat on the market. The neighbor then went to sell the house. That house didn't sell. The house stayed on the market. And so the inventory grew in the last housing recession. So suddenly there are 300 houses not selling. And suddenly houses went into foreclosure. Suddenly banks took ownership of homes and banks sometimes went over. This recession is looking, and this is my analysis based upon the data, is going to be a totally different housing recession. Let me explain to you why you understand this the mortgage rate. You start with a person who owns a home. 
they didn't buy the home yesterday. They bought the home more than four months ago. So they have the best mortgage rate of a generation, 3%. They have a beautiful 3% mortgage. They can afford it. It's a really cheap mortgage. And they say, should we sell the house? Well, here's the problem. If we sell the house, we might get a good price. But if we move, we have to get a brand new mortgage. You can't take your mortgage to the second home. You got to get a brand new mortgage. And what happens? Mortgage is now 7%. Ouch. Can't afford a 7% mortgage. We can't move because we can afford a 3% mortgage in this house. We can't afford to move to a new house, a 7% mortgage. We're not selling the house. That's why this is a totally different recession. So suddenly people will not sell their home because they cannot afford to buy a brand new home. So why is this different? The inventory is not going to build up like the last recession. And then it's just going to sit on the market and the people are going to lose their homes. People are just not going to sell like they did in the prior recession because they can't afford to move. So what's going to happen? How is the housing market going to collapse? Is it going to collapse if the inventory is not going to build up? This is what you're going to see, my prediction. Inventory is not going to build up like the last recession so that people lose their homes. Rather, you're going to see the recession hit the price of the home. So the price of the homes will fall. Existing home starts down. New home starts down. They've been down since March. They'll continue to fall because you're going to have less buyers. The buyers coming around to buy a home at a 7% mortgage, less of them. So the price of the homes will fall. Here's something I never thought of. Let's talk this through. Less homes for sale. Well, that would mean the prices would hold up or actually go higher because less inventory means the prices go higher. Not necessarily. I think it's going to be balanced against the fact that there's going to be less buyers, less inventory, less buyers, 7% mortgage. I think the 7% mortgage can keep the buyers away. The price is still going to come down, but the inventory is not going to build up. Wow. That's why you watch this channel. I mean, this is analysis you don't really see anywhere else. It's very obvious, very, very obvious. But we have to talk it through as a family with some coffee. And if we had bacon, it would have helped a lot to understand this. <laughs> there you go. Uh, coming up today, the programming continues to the board. And we have holidays at 11 a.m. We have brand new afternoons at LA show at 3 o'clock today. Uh, Dia de los Muertos being represented. <laughs> then we have evenings at LA tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. The data right today is the following. The NASDAQ up. The Dow is up a three, about 300 points. They're trying to end the day, the week stronger because Monday and Tuesday was really wet, a great two days of trading up. But um, do not, you know, do not read too much into this market. My projections across the board, I'll feature more late today on this channel, but here they are. I'm predicting the, the bond market to go higher, the stock market to rally up, in December, Santa Claus rally bear market. Cryptocurrency is holding up. Uh, you don't see you know Ethereum going to eight hundred dollars. You don't see Bitcoin going to fifteen thousand, and you don't see Decentraland going to you know fifty cents. So they're holding up pretty well. If you want me to bring the crypto shows back on the channel by late uh, November, I will because I uh, you know I thought they were going to really implode. They're they're flat, and flat is fascinating. Can you trade in a flat environment? <laughs> interesting across the board. Meantime, what's important to understand is you need to get this stimulus. Jump the last chat, live chat for the last question of the day. When do you believe that real big hurt is going to be felt by the Americans with this economy? What month? Viewers on average have been saying January of next year. They believe that the spending habits of the American consumer with too much debt spending will really hit them in the back by coming January after the holiday season. I agree. Maybe February, actually. Americans are carrying long-term debt right now that they cannot afford to pay off. They actually say in a series of new reports, the question is, when does that hurt really happen? And that's going to be here when they come here. But for you, you're not going to wait. You're going to get incredible stimulus right today. Look at these great numbers. You're going to get these incredible numbers right today. You're going to become a member. Go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And you're going to join me next at 11 a.m. or on the live show, kicking up in just a second, also on L8-1 and L8-2. From the shores of San Marcos, California, stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful morning and stay of LA for more. <laughs>